Welcome back, everybody. This is Jimmy's and Sooks. My name is Brad. You're watching South Florida's Crabbing Channel. Uh, we're out here on the Treasure Coast of Florida. We're going to do a little bit of crabbing today. We have five crab pots out. They've been sitting here for about three days. Um, I tried a little bit of different bait. We have uh, pork in there, also with some chicken. So I wanted to see if that would help things out. But um, crabbing has been improving. It's been getting really good. Uh, these guys are coming back and the big ones are coming back, which is even nicer. So stay tuned. We're going to do some crab pot pulling. Um, if this is your first time watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. If you're uh, coming back, welcome back. All right. Check this thing off here. And what I've done is I've gone in and I've looked at the water depth chart on the internet just to see kind of how deep some of these spots are that I've been setting because a lot of what I do is an estimate. Uh, but this one here is about eight feet deep. Uh, oh, I see crabs. I see big crabs too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you see that, see that red one? Nice. Nice, we got some good crabs here. Absolutely a great crab pot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine on this one. Phenomenal. I mean, one, two, three, four really good sized crabs. And why I like this location is because it's very narrow. Um, uh, the river kind of you know comes together in this area and it kind of acts as a funnel so seems to be doing really well that might be an area to target um, if you're out here trying this for yourself but eight feet of water here um, I have water depth for all the rest of the traps that I'm gonna be pulling up today too so be able to give you a little bit better of an idea not just a guess great crab pot Making red. So here's the red versus the blue. You can see the obvious difference, darker really all around the shell and everything. Um, these are way more aggressive and their carapace is definitely a little bit shorter. These have like the longer tips, where well, these don't. Um, I feel like the shells are also a little bit harder, like tougher to crack. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the difference here. Regular old Maryland blue crab, or as uh, you know, we call it down here, South Florida blue crab, and then our red crabs. Jamaican red if you want, Caribbean. Eat just as good as the blue, so might as well keep them. So this one should be sitting at a great water depth, probably around 13. 12 feet or so. I feel like the deeper the better in the summertime. Oh, uh -huh. not bad. Not bad. We got three. Three on this pool. All the bait's gone. But not a bad way to. Not a bad pull. We got some big ones in there too. I'm telling you, all three of those are really nice sized. Really nice sized. So, can't beat that. We'll get these dumped. And then on to the next. Those are three really nice sized crabs. So this is in a brand new spot and I'm really excited to see what we get here. It's about 15 feet of water from what it showed on that depth chart. 
let's see how we do. see the crabs coming up. I love that. Look at that, another red. Dang. Good God. Awesome crab pot. Great pull here. Holy cow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 on this one and there's some big ones in there too which is nice there's definitely some big ones in there all right let's get these dumped that's an awesome pull two great pulls dang there's some nice crabs in there Great crab pot. Beautiful crabs. Look at that Jamaican red in comparison to the others. Uh, that is crazy. I remember the first time I saw this, I was just blown away. But anyway, I think they call it a bonnet court crab so cool good stuff look at the difference unbelievable it's pretty cool like there's your blue there's your red very cool undersides are always the same good stuff toss them back I can get this one loose Beautiful day, very peaceful. Gotta love it. Got to love it. All right, on the map, this shows a nice 15 foot hole that this one is in. So again, my thinking is that the deeper water is gonna have a little bit cooler water temperature. And I think that the crabs are definitely looking for a little bit of a reprieve from the heat. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Woo! Dang, look at that. Holy crap. That's a lot of crabs in here. Wow, okay. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Fantastic crab pot here. Holy crap. 13 crabs and there are some whoppers in there. I'm telling you what, this is a great day because I'm seeing big crabs coming back, but I'm also seeing a lot of crabs, which is, you know, good for like a healthy ecosystem. Woo, very grateful for days like this. All right, let's get these out of here. Let's get these out of here. And there's some nice looking crabs in there too. I don't think I'm gonna have enough bucket for all this. 
I still have crab pots to get. Great crab pot. Look at him. Holy crap. Did you see that? Alright, let's get this back on there. Oh, that is an awesome, awesome day. Look at that. Definitely a nice crab there, about seven and a half, maybe seven, seven and a half inches. But uh, the big ones are coming back. It's been a while since I've seen anything with size. And I, as always, looking for that yellow underside. Beautiful crab. This crab pot sits in about a 15 foot hole. Um, it has been definitely producing better numbers now that I've got it a couple extra feet deep. Got a couple crabs here. Nothing crazy. Not bad though. Not bad at all. So we have one, two, three, four crabs. We'll take that. Get this bait out of here. A couple, a uh, couple decent sized ones, but. This is the trap that I have furthest up the water. Um, so this is the trap that I have furthest up the river. Um, theoretically, this would be the fresher of the water. But um, yeah, a couple got to go back. Three definitely keepers. And uh, on to the next one. We'll get these dumped and move on. It's been a great day a great crab pot, but it has been a great day. Yeah, a little girl. I'll send this little girl back. You see the difference on the apron? That's the fuller apron that I talk about sometimes. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So about 40 crabs today. Um, I mean, we crushed it. Awesome day. The big crabs are coming back. There's not a ton of big ones up here at the top, but at least you get a good look at kind of what we're looking at. I got to go through still and dump some, but awesome numbers, good sized crabs. Again, awesome numbers, good sized crabs, very positive future. It looks like here in South Florida, at least for the crabs. Um, if you're not out there yet, get out there, get crabbing. It's beautiful. Please like, please subscribe, please keep being good to each other. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. All right, y'all. Peace. Great day. Again, they're just going to keep getting bigger and bigger over the next month and a half. South Florida crabbing, baby.